guys, it is Heidi Z or HD Gaming back with another YouTube video, and we are here on the Real Talk with Heidi. And as requested, we're gonna be talking about my softball experiences and softball in general. So let's get into it, you guys. I have a number of pictures over here that I'm gonna be showing you guys, um, which would be smart if I actually pulled the pictures out of the envelope. Um, but yeah, before I show you any pictures and we get to any growing of Heidi, um, <coughs> excuse me while I die. <coughs> I just got back from dinner. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm not sick. Something went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> I'm okay. I promise. I think. Yeah, I should be fine. Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get into how long I've played softball. Um, I started playing softball when I was five. So I've been playing now for 14 years? Gonna be 15 next year, so... I should know a lot about softball. Um, I absolutely love softball. I probably, softball and bowling are, if not on the same level, they are very, very, very close in my heart. Um, and I've met so many wonderful people through softball and made so many friends and it's definitely something that I've always loved to do and it's sad that I Probably don't get to play another year of travel ball. Um, maybe depending on what my coaches do, maybe we might be doing something to make it to where I could play. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, I've played, I can play any position when it comes to softball, except for pitcher. I can't pitch. I've, I tried it before. My people say I have a natural curveball, and I just, I was like, nah. Especially since I have a bad shoulder. Really, all of that, you know, wind up and everything would be too much on my shoulder. So I settled to, um, most recently after I got, let's, let's, let's rewind. Let's go from the start. So when I was little, I actually played softball with my sister until my sister quit softball. Thanks. It, it, it wasn't a big deal. She just wasn't into the whole sports thing. And I understand that she was out searching for gophers the entire time we played. While I was the competitive one trying to get stuff done. Um, going through my years of softball, I, I'm considered a power hitter now. You know, I can, I can hit the ball a long way. I can hit the ball, I can make contact, but it hasn't always been like this. Um, I think I've said this before, but I really didn't turn into a power hitter until after my, it was sixth grade, I think. After my injury, I injured my shoulder. I, when I was in sixth grade and younger, like I was afraid to swing back. And then my dad, he incorporated a contract system, so I would make money depending on what I did. So I got paid for stolen bases. Um, this was before I became a catcher. I got paid for stolen bases, base hits, doubles, triples, home runs. Didn't get paid for my Hurst, Hurst, first home run until I was in 8th grade, I think that's, yeah, 8th grade was when I hit my first home run, I think, 8th mm, grade or freshman year, one of the two, 8th um, grade, I it was, it was after I came off of my inner, 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 I can't speak, came off of my in injury to my shoulder, played another season of softball, and I really started to get a look at the ball, and this was when I started playing catcher also. After I had injured my shoulder, you know, I told you guys about the whole team that kind of cut me off, you know. Yeah. Uh, we did a lot for that team. I couldn't play, but I went to absolutely every game, every practice, let them use some of my equipment that my dad bought for me, and then they cut me off, didn't even give me an award at the award party, didn't even 
mention me or call me for the award party. I'm still butthurt. As you all should probably tell, like, I am so salty, you could drop me into a lake and it would create an ocean. It would. Anyways, let's get away from the saltiness, because, you know, don't really need that. Um, continuing on, um, I just, softball was, has always been one of the things that really held me together through a lot of things that have happened in my life. Like, when my best friend passed away when I was in sixth grade, it held me together. You know, the coaches I had back then, even though I wasn't that good at softball, like, I was good at the defensive part, but the offensive part, you know, hitting and things like that, I wasn't that good. I could get on base, you know. That has never been a problem. I, I'm really good in the box. I can tell what strikes are, what balls are, and, you know, if you need me to get on beast, beast on base, I would find some way to get on base, and that's always how it's been for me, and yeah, one of the things that I feel like is most bad about being so disciplined when it comes to the plate is when, during travel ball, I would get signals to swing no matter what, and if it wasn't a good ball, I, I fought myself, I was like, do they want me to swing, what do they want me to do, and I'm like, that wasn't a good ball, and they're like, you still should have swung, and I'm like, no! If that was one of the hardest things for me. That's why they eventually didn't tell me to do a hit and run. <laughs> I'm too disciplined at the plate. It's just, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I forgot where I was at with the whole story or point I was making. Yeah. Anyways, let's get to pictures. Actually, no. I, I lied. I lied. Um. Let's talk about all of the positions I've played. As we all should know, my main position was catcher. I absolutely love playing catcher. It, I love the physicality of being a catcher. Um, like, I play basketball also, so I like being physical. And, you know, I felt like the most physical position for me was catcher. I got into a lot of collisions. I think I actually might have a couple pictures here of a couple collisions. Um, or one collision at least. I don't have pictures of the collision. Um, I have them somewhere. Don't know where though. But I had, I've had a couple, I've had a lot of injuries through softball. Um, one year I injured one of my hips during travel ball. And well. I actually, I've injured my knee during travel ball. I've injured both of my knees, both of my ankles, both of my hips. But I feel like the most substantial injuries were to my hips because I injured one hip one year and then the next year I injured both of my hips. So my sophomore year, I injured one hip. I was out of school for a period of time. Then the next year, I injured both of my hips. So I couldn't even walk, I couldn't use crutches. I was going to be put in a wheelchair and to have it be in my hips it was hard to sit so I ended up staying home for like three weeks and that really affected my schooling you know my teacher didn't give me the work I was supposed to get and on top of all that my maka was sick at the time and yes that just led to bad things and if you guys ever want to hear about my education story go ahead and request for that and I can tell you guys to do what not to do yeah um, but my, my injury to my two hips was the most substantial for me and had the most meaning because I never thought I was going to be able to play catcher again. You know, we didn't know what was wrong. We broke it down to my hips. They actually, the first time my one hip got injured, we kind of just thought, oh, it's just a hip injury. They told me to stay off it. And then when I injured both of my hips the next year, we figured out that I had a pre-existing kind of condition with my, the alignment of my pelvis and, you know, the injuries for my hips were, I was prone to getting injured in, you know, my pelvis hip area because of things not being correctly aligned and things like that. 
Um, but we're not going to get more into detail about that because that stems into a totally different topic altogether. And that's kind of something that I don't feel comfortable talking about with you guys. Um, maybe one day, but as of now, it's just not something that I even talk to anyone about. So yeah, um, it was, you know, it was scary to think that I wouldn't be able to play the position that I loved anymore. Like, after I came back off of my injury, my coach was like, because I went to my practices, you know, I found a way to get to my practices, because this was during summer, so it was during travel ball. When, was it? Yeah. Mm -mm. No, this wasn't during travel ball. This was before travel ball started, but it was getting close to being summertime. Um, and it was during our rec league that I got injured. And I got to come back before, you know, the championship and things like that for this particular injury. Um, and, you know, I was terrified. I was like, I'm not going to be able to play anymore. You know, all this. And my coach was very, very skeptical. He... He didn't want to put me in p p positions that I might get hurt at, so he threw me in the outfield. But the thing about me is no matter where you put me, I'm going to play as aggressive as possible because I want to win. I'm so competitive, um, but I also like to have fun. I really wish that, because I, I didn't stop being a hothead until recently. Um with bowling, and I feel like that could stem over into softball if I got the chance to play again. I just, going through so much the past year when I was playing travel ball, I was traveling a lot and, you know, dealing with a lot of emotional things. I felt like I was a big hothead towards my teammates, and I feel really bad for that. So if any of my, my old teammates are watching this video, I, I shout out to you guys. I love you guys, and I'm sorry if I was hard to deal with. Because after losing my maca, it was very, very hard to, you know, get back up on that horse, you know, be passionate about things. But anyways, continuing, um, my, my coach would put me in the outfield, and then, you know, I told him, I'm ready, you can put me back at catcher. And the reason we were so scared about this injury is because I did everything right by the book, you know, when I took this, this throw to home plate when this girl... Let me tell you, this girl was a good three, f maybe more, six feet away from home plate when I received the throw. So I got into my place, you know, I was sticking my, my glove out to tag her, you know, I had the ball in my glove, you know, I was ready, and she slid. And I understand, you're going to be as competitive as possible, but my whole thing is it's rec ball. I know it's still competitive, you know, it was tournament time, but still. And she slid and took me out. And she took me out so hard, she hit me at my legs because I had to drop down to, to try to tag her. And she hit me, and I, I feel like I flipped in the air a couple times and landed on one hip. And then, like, I hit so hard, I kind of bounced up. I was like a bouncy ball and then flipped and hit my other hip. And that's how I injured both my hips and the fact that she kind of went under me, like, slid in under me, and uh, my legs were like, Phoop! yeah, it was bad. Um, yeah, I know it's something that's hard to, um, describe without having visual of it, but I'll show you the pictures one day, you guys, if you want to see it. Um, I have no ill will towards the girl. I really don't. Um, she, when we actually transitioned our travel ball team, we added a couple teams under us you know, different age groups, and she was not one of the younger age group teams, and I just, I never, I could, I can't hold ill will against somebody who's playing aggressively when they're playing softball, because, you know, I, I understand how aggressive it is, and how you want to win, and how you want to score, and you're going to do absolutely anything to do it, but you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have gone home. You didn't have to go home. Like, even if you did, it would have been a force at home, and then I wouldn't have been injured, but, you know, Anyways, let's continue. Uh, but yeah, I've played infield, outfield, catcher. It's still considered infield, but I like to put it in its own position because you're like the sheriff of the... Wait, let's, let's look at some pictures. We'll get to the cute old ones later. Um, let's see, which one do I want to show you guys first? Um, 
So before you judge me on my stance or how I swing the bat or anything like that or how I block the ball, just don't do it. So this picture, it's hard to see with the glare. I, I am blocking the ball in this picture as you can see. I really like this picture because it just shows it shows the concentration I have on on the ball here and I'm just like I got you I absolutely loved playing catcher so much you guys you don't you don't understand how how much passion I have for this um, and then this I think this next picture might tie in with another picture maybe not then this next picture you know I'm just chilling I am in my batting stance I really like this picture. I love, I love this team so much. I really did. Um, the coaching was amazing. It's actually the same coach I had for travel ball, and I love him so much. And then my dad's like, he he took this picture and he's like, give me the heater, Ricky. And I was just looking at him like, really, Dad? <laughs> yeah, that was the, the fastball sign. Um, I really didn't call many pitches. Um, it really wasn't my thing. I like to let my pitchers control what they do because I know with the younger ones I would give them signals, but for the older ones who knew what they were like, who were more comfortable with their pitches and you know had more knowledge about what to throw when, I was like, you know, you do you. I'm just gonna sit back here and catch it because I didn't need to know what the pitcher was throwing because no matter where the ball is gonna be, I will catch it, except for one incident. We were at the, we were at a tournament, um, and I I kind of zoned out when my pitcher was throwing the pitch and didn't even bother to try to catch the ball. And I took it to my hoo ha and ended up having a bruise for like three weeks. And sitting was unbearable. It hurt. It was not fun. And she threw like over seventy miles an hour. She was she's a tank. She is a beast. And if she's watching this right now, you know who you are, because everyone laughed at me. And my coach, he yelled, he's like, Hattie, is your hoo-ha okay? And I'm just like, coach, what are you doing? No. Because I was like, there are cute girls on the other team. Chill, coach, chill. I was like, oh my god, embarrassing. And, you know, everybody just started laughing. And then I started laughing, and it was funny. Um, but yeah, then this, this next pic picture, you can't really get a good look at my, like, face. Booty. Anyways, you can see the determination and I'm glaring at the runner at third. I'm just like, you better not move because I have a cannon. I will throw you out. I have, I have this glare whenever I play softball that, you know, I'm looking at you like I want to kill you. Like, that's how people perceive my glare as and it's just like, no, I just want to th throw you out. You move, you're going out because... I didn't take any crap when I played softball. Like, you weren't getting past me. I, no, no, that's, that's why I feel like my coaches really like to put me back at catcher because I was so aggressive and the fact that I can block the ball very well. Um, not to brag, it's just I had really, really good coaches who taught me how to block the, block the ball so well. And you know, all of my success, I can only give it to them. And before you laugh at my face in this picture, this ball went a long way. It really did. I'm not lying. I did make contact with that ball. It went a long way. I loved that bat so much. I still have it. I love it. It's been my main bat since forever. Um, for a couple seasons. And then this, this one. Oh, this ball went a ways too. Um, I don't know if you saw the muscle in this picture. But if you look at my arm... You see the muscle definition, and I didn't think my left arm had that much muscle, because you know when you're you're standing up to bat as a as a right hander, you know all the muscles, you know. Yeah, I I have to give a lot of my power to my legs because I don't think I would be a power hitter if I didn't play catcher, because I have so much muscle in my legs from being a catcher and being down in that position for so long. This one you really don't see the. Um, muscles as well, but my dad takes really, really good pictures. Um, he takes all of my softball pictures that form. And if you're wondering, 
I don't take a step when I swing. Um, my coach, Joe, who, rest his soul, he's, he's, he passed away, as you guys should know, I've talked about him before. Um, he's the one who, you know, fixed my stance, because I didn't like stepping. I felt uncomfortable with it, and he helped me because I didn't need the step. You know, I already have so much power in, you know, my core, my everything. He was like, okay, here's what you're gonna do, and we actually took a two by four. And I would be in sneakers, and I would stand in my, my batting position, and he taught me balance. If I fell off the 2 by 4 I'd be in trouble, you know? And I just worked on my balance. He would, you know, soft toss the softballs to me, and I'd just let it, let it rip in, in the batting cages where he, um, you know, did lessons for us. And he just, he taught me so much about so many things, and... I actually want to get into coaching because of him, you know, coaching softball because of him. And then I also want to get into coaching for bowling because of Coach Dave at the Bowling Alley. Shout out to Coach Dave. I love you. Um, now let's get into some cute little Heidi's. Um, so one of these is from 10 years ago. And then one of these, I think, is from when I first started playing softball. Um, but this one was from a long time ago because if you guys want to know the story, I actually... Didn't have my two front teeth for a long time. If you want to know that story, let me know down below and I'll talk about it in the next Real Talk with Heidi. Like, different things that I've been through in my life. Like, when I was two and in the hospital and then the teeth thing and then broken arm and things like that. I'll let you guys know about those things. But this one, look at little Heidi. Isn't that so cute? Like, so cute. Like, I... I can't get over it. I'm, I had some on my face, but I still cute. Like, and then this one, I was nine. So this is ten years ago. Um, I weighed 50 pounds, and I was four foot seven. So that's like a hundred pounds and one foot ago. Like, I am five foot seven, five foot eight now. Um, look at that. So that was in 2006. I know it's backwards for you guys, but all you have to see is me. It was so cute. I don't know where the hell that hat went. My eyebrows were still on point, though. Um, and then this next picture um, was from a couple of years ago. It might have been my... I don't remember when I had this blonde hair, but, um, that was a while ago. I, it was a couple years ago, I don't remember when, but I actually keep these pictures. I have these two over there with my, um, the thing from my Maka Celebration of Life. And then I have all of these over on my other monitor that I don't have connected to anything. And I actually keep them in, like, age order, so I could just look at how I, how I grew up. And, you know, it's, it seems like little things, but, you know, I like to remember how I've come up and how I've grown up and all of that. Because I feel like to be humble, you need to remember where you've come from, you know? And that's, I always want to try to be humble and... You know, things like that. Um, but anyways, I absolutely love softball. I've I've met so many wonderful people through it, and a lot of these people are like family to me, and I wouldn't trade any of them for the world. So for some... Let's not get into that, because there is a lot of drama that comes with playing softball. You know, people don't like each other. Sometimes people get in fights, and you're just over on your, your field looking at the other one like, what's going down over there? But yeah, um... I never had to be, you know, presented to those situations, because I didn't like to make conflict. A lot of people didn't like me when I played on the field because I was so aggressive and competitive, but I really didn't care, you know, because I was going to do whatever I could do to make my team win and keep my team happy and keep my team safe. So if my teammates got injured, I got very, very upset. Um, but anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. I know I've been rambling here for a while. Um, but I hope you enjoyed regardless. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button down below. 
and comment down below tell me what you think I should do for the next Real Talk with Heidi if you would like to hear about why I was in the hospital when I was two and you know how I broke my arm and how I lost my two front teeth um, and a whole bunch of other things just let me know if that's something you'd like me to talk about because I definitely do it for you guys but su suggest things down below I'm running out of ideas you guys please help help <laughs> and last but not least if you are new to my channel and you enjoy everything that I do and you would like to join the Zoom Nation and be known as Zoomian, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I love to see new people around. I love to watch the community grow. And I love you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, much love and peace.